Hello everyone, thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Emily Bradley and I am a part of Medit's education and training team. Today we're going to be covering a couple of the new AI features that Medit has to offer, one being smart arrows and the other being um, filling the major holes. So before we get started, I'm just going to go up to the upper left hand corner here and click on menu and then settings. And I'd like you to see where, where you can actually find to turn your smart arrows on or off. And that's going to be this little area right here. You can either click it off or on. And again, that's based off of your preference. So if you prefer not to see the arrows, you can turn it off. If you find the arrows very helpful in understanding and knowing uh, where you have rely reliable data, you can go ahead and keep it on there. Now, um, we're going to first address the smart arrows. This feature indicates and demonstrates areas with low reliability based on scan data obtained. When the scan stops, blue arrows are going to appear to highlight the areas of insufficient data. Scanning additional data that improves data reliability will make the arrows disappear. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to scan the mandible at this point in time. Um, we're not going to get a real accurate scan because we want to demonstrate how those arrows appear. And then also our second feature that we're going to um, go over today is the filling major holes. So we're going to leave some holes in this, in this, um, this scan anyway. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pick up my scanner. And as always, when I'm doing webinars, I like to scan on a model so I can talk through it instead of scanning on my own teeth. And I'm going to press the blue start stop button in order to stop. And you know, I generally like to give a few scanning pointers. Make sure the scanner is on top of the occlusal surface of the teeth before you press the start button. And then from there you can move forward. So we're gonna go ahead and press start. And I'm going to start on the occlusal surface. We're just gonna pull forward nice and slow just for the sake of this, this webinar. Go ahead and pick up the lingual and buccal surfaces and stop. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're not going for really reliable scans or really um, complete scans right now because we wanna see how these scan arrows actually work um, to our benefit. Okay, so we did a quick scan here. We can see that we have interproximals um, that, are, that have no data in there. So to check the scan data, by reviewing the marked areas, you can actually inspect it closer by going to the display mode over here. As you hover over everything with Medit, an explanation will pop up as to what it does. And I'm going to switch to the reliability map here. So the reliability map is red until the information is good and it goes green. So you can see how these arrows are pointing to areas on the model that it wants more information. You can also then click to texture on plus reliability map. So this generally it's going to be purple as the information is reliable. It will actually turn to tooth color or you know the color of gingiva um, to resemble the PLY file. So let's go ahead. I'm going to switch back to reliability map. I think this does a really great job of demonstrating as we get more information you'll see that this, the model goes green and the arrows also disappear. Okay so I'm going to start on the occlusal surface again come across here and you can see as I'm adding more information there, the arrows start to disappear and we're not following an exact scan path at this time. We just wanna demonstrate how these arrows disappear in real time. Oops, lost, lost my tracking just for a second there, okay. So there we go. You can see as we add reliable information, those arrows disappear and we didn't get rid of all of them. We didn't pull forward um, to the anteriors quite yet. And you can see Here's an arrow here pointing at a, at a hole there in the contact interproximal area and so forth. Okay, so as I go about and I scan more, you're going to see the arrows disappear in real time. And you're going to also see if you're scanning in reliability map mode that um, it actually, that your model will be all green. Okay, so what I'm going to do is switch back here to my PLY file. Okay, so it's really important as now we move on to the filling major holes tool that um, according to how uh, what you're going to do what, why you're scanning this case it's important to know if the holes are acceptable there or not for instance if i was going to do a restoration you're going to want to make sure you have no holes in the restoration at all it's really important that your margin is clear your contact areas are clear and your adjacent tooth or teeth areas are, are, are good information so based off of what you're doing, you're going to want to make a call on whether or not it would be okay to say fill a hole right here and a hole right here, or if it's important to have those contact areas. 
So this is a judgment call everybody needs to make as they're scanning um, based off of what kind of restoration is going on here or if it's an ortho appliance and so forth. So we're going to move forward with the model just like this. And again, you can see holes in the contact area, so it's definitely not a complete scan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the complete button here. So this is always the way you're going to end a case. Now, if I click here on complete, we're going to be presented with some options here. Okay, so as I hover over the options, this is process data as it is. So this is going to process your data with the holes where you left them. And you can actually fill the holes post-processing at a different time if you wanted to. Now, if I move my cursor over to this middle option right here, this is the fill major holes option. And this is the option we're discussing today. This is the AI feature that allows the software to fill the holes so you have a complete model. Now, again, I always want to stress it's really important to understand what information is important for you to pass on to your laboratory. Do you want a hole on, um, let's say, a prep or a margin? No, that's going to actually interfere and cause issues with the restoration. And quickly, we're just going to touch on this option here just so you're aware of it. This is create a 3D printed model option over here. So we're obviously going to be doing educational webinars based off of all these options, but what we're going to do is select the fill major holes option here. So what I'm going to do now is we'll click it, and I typically, for webinars, we don't want to go through the whole processing time, but we're going to go through the processing time on this one so you can see how once the, the, we click on the fill major holes option, we get into processing, and you can see right up here at the top, the processing is going on. It will allow us to see the difference between the holes filled and not filled. So what I'm going to do once this is done processing, you'll see here the patient's name. I've got scan, which is my RX form right here, and I've got file viewer here. I'll click on that in just one second. You'll see that the scan is completed now. And it will allow me to click on file viewer. You could actually click on file viewer as soon as you get into the processing. Um, period. It's, it's okay to view that. Okay, so you can see here, based off of the model we scanned, we very quickly scanned in MedicScan for Clinics, there are no holes in this model. And we know there were prior to processing, so we filled all those holes. All right, so based off of being able to view my raw scan data and the mandible, we're going to be able to see the difference between the model with the holes filled and without the holes filled. So. We're going to go ahead and turn our raw scan data on. And again, we're going to let this finish on the side. And for those of you who are interested in filling holes post-processing, this is the tool that you're going to click on right here. And this will allow you to select the area that you want to fill, whether it's the maxilla or the mandible. And you can also select the size of the holes that you would prefer you would like to have filled. So you have full control with Medit provides you with full control of your scan data, which is a really great option. And again, you know, I always stress this, um, when you're working on a restorative case, it's really vital that you have no holes prior to clicking the fill the major holes area. Um, you have no holes on the prep area, you have no holes on the margin and so forth. So it's really important that that's taken care of. So if I, I have my raw data on, and I can click my mandible off here, and you can see, there you go, my holes appear. So with the, just the raw data on, you can see the holes. Now this is what it looks like post-processing where those holes have been filled. So again, it's a really great option, a great tool that Medit has offered their end users to make life easier. And just confirm that some of those interproximals, you know, they're not gonna matter if you're going to go forward with a, a single unit crown and they're nowhere near the contact and the prepped area. So again, we'll just click here and you can see holes and click on and then you can see no holes there. Okay, well, I hope that made sense. I appreciate you joining the webinar today. Um, we look forward to hearing from you as always if you have questions or suggestions as to what kind of webinars we would like to you would like to learn about, um, topics, ideas, features, and so forth. Um, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.